Okay, well, here I am with Buddy Knox. Um, he's going to be doing our first night of the blues for uh, XABC Entertainment, along with Charlie Musselwhite and uh, the Malistic Instrumental Trio. Uh, buddy, so um, welcome, mate, to my blog. Yeah, it's good to, good to be here. Mate, I, I suppose I'll just start with, like, what, what you know, um, what got you into blues music? Ah, oh, I don't... Yeah, I just... I just... I just uh, I just like blues. It's just it's just what I what I felt you know feel better to play than any other music that was around me. Yeah. I was doing a lot of country music with my with my father and uh, and uh, rock old time rock and roll. He did that and and but I, I yeah I just I just couldn't couldn't play country real good and, and I didn't feel it as good as if I felt blues. Blues music, so so that's just what I that's just what happened. I just did it like that. Uh, excellent. No, what what you know, like what was sort of your first um, you know blues artist, you know, legend that you heard that kind of made you go. Well, wow, see, man. he was a rock, he's known as a rock and roll guy, but it was Chuck Berry. Oh yeah. But he, but he was um, yeah, he was a blues guy, but um, but he's more more famous for rock and roll. But he was probably the first one. Yeah. And then it just went from there, just, um, you know, from Marty Waters and maybe King. And, um, yeah, so it just went from there. Yeah. So were you self-taught or did someone teach you how to play? Because, I mean, you're, you're like a B.B. King to us here, you know? Play the guitar or play your music? Oh, play play guitar, you know? Yeah, I... I, um, I I got taught a couple of chords, um, and then I just practiced from there um, because I wanted to. I wanted to do it because my father did it, and I I just just practice. I don't read any music. I just go by ear, yeah. and yeah. So now I I just practice and picked it up. As, and if you practice, you'll get better. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was that was sort of how it worked. So you, you've, um, you know, played a lot of festivals throughout Australia, you know. Um, was there any great times, you know, like a memorable moment when you, you know, playing a festival, something that's, I don't know, could be funny moment or something where you went, wow, this is just what I love, you know, this is it. Oh, I was at the backstage at Bluesfest and B.B. King come out, uh, they wheeled him, had him in the wheelchair and they pushed him out and he had pulled up there and had a yarn with him. That was probably one of the best things. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Had a yarn, well, yeah, I had a yarn with him at the back, and he even got a bit of video of it too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, talking with him. It wasn't long. He he just waiting for him to get him down the steps. Yeah, they got the, the steps to the car, and and yeah, it just went. I just while I was doing that, I had a bit of a yarn with him. Yeah. What what, what did you say to him? I just asked him how he was going. Yeah. <laughs> just, just talk to him like an old crew fellow, yeah. like an elder. Yeah. yeah. So I just asked him how he was. I didn't call him Riley. Yeah. 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 Didn't call him Mister either. Yeah. I, him, I think I might have called him Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle BB, excellent. Yeah. But, uh, but you know, um, yeah, just asked him what what he was doing and where he's going next. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's it. Uh, Oh, wow. Well, you yeah, said he was all right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. We well, all kind of like, um, I don't know, to be honest, I think you're like our BB our King, you know? That's what I love. I mean, the first time I heard you play, uh, I think it was at, um, in Woi Woi, <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. It was just, yeah. Um, I was like, wow, you know, you got the 335, you know? It's um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, you know. Whoa, is that a cool place to play? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Deep water. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. I remember that. Then yeah, no, it was it was, a, it was good good night. Yeah, you, you um you did a classic entrance where you you know the band was already playing on the stage. Yeah, I think you got to do that. That's how it should be. Yeah. I think that's what it should be, and I I I want to I want to I don't know. I just think that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't start up about that. I just think you're supposed to do it. Yeah. It's like a real um, show, showmanship, which is yeah, well, that's the blues, isn't it? 
Yeah, I, I, um, I, um, yeah, I've, I've been playing a lot before I did my own thing, like with other people, like people I've been, some of the um, pioneers of Indigenous music, like there was Oriel Andrews and my father, Rogers Knox, and yes. there's Colin Hardy and Vic Sims and mm -hmm. uh, Jimmy Little and Harry Williams and all these type of people. They were sort of pioneers of Indigenous music, and 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 in their day, they were sharp as as you, you know as sharp as you can get. And they, they taught me how to, you know, how to, I I looked to them more than say the, the blues artists when it came to teaching me how to be a, a person on stage. Yeah, right. So yeah. they, I learned from them. Yeah. So they were sharp as anything, especially guys like uh, Jimmy Little and Vicky Sims, yeah. and my father. They, they, they was the best looking guys around, so they, they they tried to look the best and put on a good show. Yeah, yeah. And that's 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 one of the things, one of the reasons why I, I want to do it too. Like I want to, I learnt that you have to look, you have to look good. Yeah, look sharp. And I, and I, <laughs> I it's funny too. I um, I listened. To, I was watching a, um, a documentary uh, on BB King, and he said when you play blues, you got to you got to dress like you, you got, you got to dress like you're going for a bank loan. <laughs> that's what he said on his documentary. <laughs> that's that's right. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, no, really cool. Um, so yeah. the three three five that you play looks like it's being played a lot. It's um, it's got that yeah. road look, you know about it. Yeah, 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 I played a hell out of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I. Yeah, I don't. I don't play any other, other guitar. Yeah. I, uh, I haven't got fifteen guitars. I don't even want fifteen guitars. I yeah. only want one. That's all I need. Yeah. yeah. And for what I do, and uh, the only other other thing I have is a acoustic guitar. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's the, and that's why that's worked a bit. Um, I don't play anything else. So what 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 attracted you to the three three five in particular? You know, like lots of guitarists well, like Strat. I wanted to be like Chuck Berry. Yeah, <laughs> he had one. Yeah, yeah. It just yeah, it wasn't because of BB King or Freddie King or well, Al um, Al King or them other guys that played him that guitar. It wasn't because of them. It was because of Chuck Berry. I wanted to play like Chuck. Yeah, yeah. So that's how come I I, I uh. I just uh, found that one, and and it just happened to be that colour, and I said, "Yeah, that'll do me." Ah, oh, that's cool. It's a nice guitar, you know. And it's a good one if you play. And next time you're near it, have a have a play at it because it's got real good action. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah it's a real good. It's a real good one to play. Yeah. I think it's yeah. I I I it's, I like it anyway. And and in, anyone else that played it, like, like Ray Beal and Rex Gold, they played it. They yeah. that sort of. Yeah, that's also a real good guitar. Yeah, yeah. It's um yeah, it's a lovely looking guitar. You know? Yeah, it like, feels good. Yeah. So um you know, uh what um what does the blues mean to you? You know how like some people kinda of go, Ah, oh, it's a you know, it's like a uh, you know, a, a sort of per a, you know, a good man feeling bad, you know, and all that kind of stuff. What what would you say the blues is for you? You know, what what does it mean to you? Oh uh, no, it's it's um, not not that. It's I just I just feel I feel good. I don't yeah. feel bad. It, it, to play it make me feel make me feel good within me. Yeah. I just yeah. I just it's just what I it's just what I do. You know, and uh, I just don't, there's nothing else to it. I just it just it just makes me feel good to play. Yeah. It's what I, it's like I said, it's, it's, I don't play any other, uh, any other genres, and, but I do play them all, but, but that's the one that I feel more passion, yeah. passion with playing it, you yeah. know, that, that, that genre. So, um, you've, you've, you've written a few songs, a few blues songs. Yeah, a couple, yeah. Yeah, Are you, you, have you got another album in the pipeline, you know? You... Yeah, yeah, we're working on a, we're working on a recording now. Um, we we've got about you know, there's four there's four tunes that we've uh, got written ready or well, they're ready to go, and there's another another three or four that's you know they we're gonna get them up and going too. Cool. So so I'm I'm open by August, 
you know, get a get the um, new recording finished or you know done by. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, and it'll be it'll be a mix of blues and a little bit of like I don't mind I don't mind old soul. Yeah. But I like blues better. <laughs> so what what can we expect when you're um you know at these um gigs that you're doing with Charlie? Yeah, yeah well. Can't give too much away, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, we, well we're playing we'll be playing blues songs. I I want to play a couple of old covers. I play originals, I mean original tunes. Yeah. But I want to play a couple of standard old blues songs as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we we'll never know. See what happens. See what Charlie doing. See if he can finish drinking his coffee or what does he drink? Oh, I, I if he's doing whatever he's doing, he might come and have a jam with me. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you're, you're gonna love touring um, with Charlie. Oh, just to meet that guy would be yeah, it'd be big. It'd be pretty big for me. Yeah, yeah, cool. No, I think um, yeah. That's the other thing. I feel like I'm a blues person. I don't, I, you know, I, a lot of. I mean, like the old style blues people, like they talk about that, and some of them sort of talk stories about how it was tough in them days and and it's hard had some hard times and struggles well i that's what i've been through and my father made sure i went through that because he was he was doing and he was having you know going through some struggles i went with him so i sort of understand some of that hard times and how to how how that how it how it was and well it was within me yeah so that's what i'm saying i i get it i understand it and i just play the music, I understand what's within it. Yeah. 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 Gabby Gabby knows what's in it too. Gabby Duncan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, Charlie knows Gabby. Yeah, Gabby. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now that's what I'm saying. I, I sort of understand the the other, not just just a musician, but you know what I'm saying? Like what's how they talk about some of the hard times that comes with being a blues a blues person or or, or they wrote songs because of being in the tough times and yeah. called it blues, but yeah, so I understand. I understand all that. Ah, excellent. Yeah. No, well, you know, it's going to be great because I mean, our, yeah. our, our our first gigs in Bangalore, then we go to Brisbane. You know, look then, out. Yeah, look out. You know, it's the traveling blues show. You know, so yeah, that's now yeah, that's the cool thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like it. It's um, we're it's gonna, some, you know, where everyone can get good value. You know, come see three bands. You know, yeah, and I think price it's, of one almost, you know, kind of thing. So it's you can, you know, oh, I think it's going to be good. It, it's I can't, I can't wait, you know, just, uh, just to watch the other players and yeah, watch Charlie play. Yeah, yeah, no. Is he going to bring his mouth up or what? <laughs> Mrs. <Zippy> what? saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> without a doubt. But I'm yeah, gonna... that'll be good. Yeah, so the yeah the twenty fifth of February at Bangalore, twenty sixth at um, the Trufford, yeah, and twenty seventh at the Panthers at Port Macquarie, and yeah. the twenty eighth at the. Fantasy. I reckon that's a good venue. Uh, it's going to be a ripper, you know. It's going to be great. And, uh, I I played in the um, the one in Sydney at um, at Marrickville. I, oh, yeah. I, I played in that venue. Yeah. Pretty cool too. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be. Gonna be excellent. And so we're we're gonna have a lot of uh, fun on the road. We need to we need to get a get that big crowd up in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah We've got nice. a bit of a thing I want to do like, at, on the on the Saturday night. Like this is it's just a little little well, because I got uh, my bass player can't can't make it for that Saturday night. But I got my my son gonna play bass and my nephew gonna play some drums and they're good players. So, and they, you know, we're going to have a little bit of a surprise on that night. So excellent. So it should be good. Yeah. We're not, we're not going to, we're not going to upstage anybody. We just do what we do. <laughs> so you, 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 um, you won the blues challenge too, didn't you? Yeah, I did win that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't get over. I didn't get over to over to America. Uh, I, I, I didn't get my the visa. Didn't turn up on time for the for the for the contest, mm. and. It, it, so we didn't get there. Um, I would have, I would, I would have won it, Bruce. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I reckon you'd be, you know, you'd definitely make an impact over there, wouldn't you? That's for sure. <laughs> I was going to win. I wasn't going to. I didn't tell my son I'm going over here for fourth. 
<laughs> I'm going over to win. Yeah. If and I didn't win, well, that's, I'm still one anyway because I've been there. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, and like you were the pick out of, um, you know, the whole of New South Wales, you know. Yeah. Which is. A, no, I, I, I'd have been different. I would have. I would have. I'd have been something else. Yeah. And I don't know how that would have worked out, but. I think it would have been, you know, that's that's what they look for today, and they look for a little difference, yeah. a little different to what's already gone. Well, with that, um, the dig, you know, some indigenous over town, some indigenous music, yeah. Yeah. That would have that would have separated me a little bit, but we still got to be able to play blues, and that's that's the thing. Well, that's right, and um, you know what? You certainly can. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I won the contest, so that tells me that I can. Yeah, yeah you're on the right track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, so I wish I wish it would have made it. Uh, anyway. Oh, well, there's always another time, you know. Well, we'll get them on the greens. Yeah. They might get us off the tee. We'll get them on the greens. <laughs> Excellent. Well, buddy, we'll thank, yeah, thanks so much for um, having a chat with us and uh, look forward to catching up with you, oh, God, within about a week. You know? Yeah, that's right. It's not too far away now. Yeah. No. We'll all sit down and have a meal, have a chat and, you know, yeah, get yeah. amongst it and go play some music. So where are we catching up with you? Straight up at uh, Bangalore? Yeah, straight at Bangalore, yeah. And that's, oh. um, that's going to be a good one. I reckon that's going to be great. Biggie? Yeah. Yeah, oh, that'll be good then. Yeah. No. No, we'll, um, take care of yourself and uh, yeah. we'll see you soon. All right, Tim Bruce, it's, it's, it's weird looking at you without a beard. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. Well, actually, now uh, my wife kisses me, so it's good. Oh, you wait there. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like you didn't want to see me while you had a beard. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I'd better shave it off, you know. Cause I, you hey, know. Day, yeah, well, it was only just Valentine's Day the other day. You would have missed out. Yeah, and, you know, I can't live on water alone. Hey, well... <laughs> <laughs> was that her in the background there before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's watching my every move. <laughs> yeah? You must be yeah, you must be blowing up a little bit. <laughs> Keep on, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's my director. <laughs> well those men they can they can stray sometimes a little bit, don't you think? I don't know. That's yeah, good... well yeah, they can. There's there's stories of that one. <laughs> I don't Lawrence. that no, you we don't. Me and you we don't stray. No. No. No way. One woman for me. <laughs> <laughs> Take care anyway, yeah. mate. We'll um we'll see you soon. Yeah, all right then, boys. I'm doing these blogs because I love blues music and I know you guys do too. So let's share it. Share it to all your friends and show them the power of blues music. <laughs>